Okay. So I feel like my face is being washed out in this video. I don't know. Maybe I didn't do my brows too dark. You know what? Who cares? My baby is sleeping, so time is of the essence. I cannot be wasting time chattering. You guys have not come for that. Gotta fix my straps. My bra straps, that ain't cute. Try to hide it with my hair. <laughs> it works. Okay, so let's get right into this video but guys if you have not subscribed to my channel make sure you click that subscribe button i do post five days a week so you will be seeing me monday through friday so why not subscribe it's free and i would love to have you guys and also don't forget to click that notification bell so you get notified every time i post a new video like if you like these types of videos and without further ado, let's get right into it. So the first thing I wanted to talk to you guys about are some Dollar Tree products. So the first thing is this clear coat. Let me get the nail polish. Okay, so I'm back. So it looks like this, and I got this at the Dollar Tree. I wanted to try it out, and I did let you guys know that anything I get from the Dollar Tree, if there's something that I wanna review, I'm gonna include it in my favorites or fails video, like what you're watching right now. So yeah, this one I picked up at the Dollar Tree, like I said, and guys, I really like this one. I wouldn't say like, I love it, oh my gosh, it's so awesome, but I like it. If you're looking for something super affordable, obviously it's a dollar. Sorry guys, I think I just spit in the camera. My bad. But if you guys are looking for something super affordable for a dollar, you can't beat it. This is actually a good top coat. Now it does claim that it's a quick dry and it says that it's super dry. So supposedly it claims that it, it dries like super quick. Now, since my favorite top coat is the Sech Vite, I get this at a beauty salon and it's like 450. If you go at, oh my gosh, what is that store called? Beauty Zone? Sally's? Okay, Sally's, yes. I believe this is like $9, but I get it at another place where it's like half the price and a lot of their nail polish, their name brand are half the price. But yeah, guys, this is like my favorite ever. This thing dries your nail polish in less than 10 minutes. You don't have to worry about anything. After 10 minutes, you can do anything and your nail polish will stay put. So I don't think it, it definitely did not replace this whatsoever. But if you guys were wondering how this works, it does work good. Now it does take about 20 minutes to fully dry your, uh, I was gonna say lips, I don't know why. Fully dry your nails, but I think it is pretty good. It does dry it faster than usual drying where you just like wait an hour until your nails dry. So for about 20 minutes of drying time, it is a lot better. But if you guys ever find this one, I do recommend this one instead because this one, like I'm not even kidding you, less than 10 minutes and you're done. You have to, you don't have to worry about it. The next Dollar Tree item that I had to talk about, guys, I love this so much. And I know I've said this in my previous videos and it's for a good reason because I love these so much. I'm talking about the velvet scrunchies. Now, if you guys have seen these at the Dollar Tree, like pick them up because they are legit. They are actually the best scrunchies I have picked up in a long time. Like I said it. It's so awesome, guys. The quality is amazing. I'm very impressed. And not that Dollar Tree has like horrible stuff because they have a lot of awesome stuff. If you guys have been shopping at Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree will surprise you and they have such amazing products. But this one, guys, this is actually my favorite one. They, I got like in different colors. If you guys have not watched my Dollar Tree hauls, you really need to. I show the other colors that they have these in. But this one was my favorite. This is the one that I use the most. It's like a blush pink. It is gorgeous. And I do want to say this, guys. I love these scrunchies way more than the ones from Amazon. Now, I don't know if you guys watch my Amazon must-haves videos. I got this. It was 60 for $6.68 on Amazon. And you get different kinds of colors of scrunchies. And honestly, guys, I think these are okay. I mean, they are cute. But when I saw the Dollar Tree ones compared to these... It does not compare like this is supposed to be velvet and this is Dollar Tree velvet do you see what I'm saying like the difference is huge this is real velvet to me like this is how velvet is supposed to look like and this is how they think velvet is supposed to look like so when I found the best 
I cannot go back to these. I, I don't know what I'm going to do with these, but I don't think I'm going to go back to them. Moving on, I have another nail product. Sorry, guys. I feel like this thing is just trying to pop out. Um, I'm talking about this one. So I got this from Walmart, and it is an LA Color Colorless Nail Polish. And this one is in the color um, Everlasting. So it looks like this really beautiful, like, lavender color. Guys, this is just gorgeous. It's $1.99 at Walmart. And if you guys have not tried this brand at Walmart, all of their nail polish um, by this one, like this particular bottle, is $1.99. They do have other LA colors at Walmart that the bottles are a little different, so the prices vary. But if it's like this, it's $1.99. And guys, this is amazing. Now, it does claim that it says that it lasts up to 10 days. No, it does not, guys. Let's just be real. I have never met a nail polish that lasts for 10 days. Unless it's like gel nail polish, it can last me like three weeks. But this is actually pretty awesome. The color is gorgeous. It did last me about four days until it started shipping. But I do also recommend that you always use a top coat with all your nail polishes because it does make it uh, last. Actually, use a base and a top coat. And I wanna just show you guys something quick. Good base coat is Setch Vite. This one is the Rich Filling Base Coat. I use this up a lot. I have gone through so many Setch Vite nail polish because they are awesome. But yeah, that's what I recommend, guys. Always use a base and top coat with your nail polish. Just because it makes your nails last longer, it makes the uh, nail polish apply evenly. So the base coat is basically to make your nail polish apply evenly to not stain your nails. And the top coat is basically to give it a nice shine and to make your nail polish last longer. So that is pretty awesome. And guys, like I said, it does make a difference. I can definitely tell when I use my base and top coat and when I just apply a nail color because I'm lazy and I'm like not even in a mood to put the other two steps that I do highly recommend you do. Let me know guys if you want me to do like a tutorial on how to apply nail polish. I don't know. Let me know. I used to work at a salon, guys, a while back. So um, if you guys want me to, I will gladly show you guys. The next item is this thing right here. So this one I got from the Dollar Tree. It came in this uh, packaging. And it is the Eco Tools Contour Perfecting Applicator. And it says it's best for bronzers and highlighters. So I have been using this. And here's what I have to say about it. I love it. But I do not recommend that you use this for bronzing or highlighting. And here's why. It doesn't work. It doesn't work great. At least not for me. I've tried to make it work. It just doesn't work. I will say that I do love it for baking. So I do like to bake my uh, setting powder. And I basically put like setting powder underneath my eyes, the bridge of my nose, over here and here. And on my forehead right here. So I just let it bake and I apply it and I love it because it's perfect for underneath the eye. So you, I just dab some powder on it and I just apply it and I love it because it sets perfectly. It's, so if you guys see this at the Dollar Tree, I do recommend you pick it up because I do think it's an amazing product. And then another thing that I got that I absolutely love at the Dollar Tree, it is this one right here and it is another Equal Tools. This is the Color Perfecting Minis. So they're like beauty blenders, miniature size, and they come in a four pack. Now the thing is, it didn't say if you should wet it or not. I did because I always like these um, beauty blenders wet. I feel like it makes uh, applying concealer or foundation a lot easier. So as you can see, I don't have the other uh, fourth one in there just because I'm using it, but I absolutely love it, guys. I like if you see this, pick it up. Now it does grow to about double the size of this, but I love it, guys. I love it. And I had a feeling like I had a good feeling about this. Like I knew I'm going to love it and I do. So there's that. I absolutely love it. If you see it, guys, pick it up. And then moving on to the next item is this right here. So I got this at the Dollar Tree, guys. And I have to say, I love it. So this I use for um, washing my hair, shampooing my hair in the shower. This is just amazing for washing my hair. I usually use, obviously, my fingers to clean my hair. But this, I just feel like it just makes my hair more clean. And I just like that massage in my hair. That 
it just it's like a massage i love it guys so if you see it i would recommend that you pick this up i do think this is definitely worth it and here's another one now this is kind of similar to the other one i just showed you but it is this one right here now if i had to choose between these two i would say this one i like better so i did try this one and i love it but this one guys I love even more this is amazing guys it is like a hard silicone material but I love it like I think this one is like number one if I had to choose like I said between those two I'll definitely choose this one because oh my gosh guys I'm getting like chills just doing this do you guys ever get that like you get chills down your spine it's so crazy but I love this I feel like if your hair is itchy and um you don't want to scratch it because your hair is done right. Just use this and it won't mess up your hair. But I do use this for in the shower the same way. So when I put shampoo, I use this all over. In all honesty, I love this one better. I think because of the way it is shaped and the silicone and the fact that they're a little bit more softer and they're more bendable but still like kind of firm at the same time. I just love this and guys let me just tell you this is good for regrowing your hair as well because it does stimulate hair growth I'm definitely gonna pick more of these up if I see them I'm thinking of getting like four of them just because I want to give it out to some of my family but yeah I'm gonna get this also to stock up because I love this I have another eco tools so I tried this one out this is the facial cone jack sponge. I'm so sorry, guys. The sponge is in the shower. It's like a white little sponge. I did try it, guys. I love it. Now, it is so soft. So, it does say it's like for gentle cleansing. Truly is because it's soft. But at the same time, you do feel like it's cleaning your face really well. So, if you guys see this, I do recommend that you pick it up. If you guys don't like anything like too harsh on your skin, I do recommend this. And then moving on, guys. I love this. If you guys been watching my last three or four Dollar Tree hauls, you you know that I've been hauling in a bunch of these freaking bath bombs. Guys, these are amazing. So if you see them, pick them up. I don't even know why I did that. That was weird. But pick them up, guys. This is the Onyx Bath House. This is um, called OMG and Unicorn with strawberry and jasmine now they do, they do have so many different scents we just had a runaway bath bomb i don't know where it was trying to go but i got it so this guys is 297 at walmart and it is about five dollars at target guys dollar tree this is a huge bath bomb i mean look at this and it does really work it fizzes up real nicely and it does change the color of the bath now my bathtub is fairly huge it's not like a regular bathtub it's big and my daughter likes to take baths in it because her bathtub is smaller mine is bigger now moving on to one amazon product and it is these straws right here so my sister actually got these for me because I um, used to use metal straws. I got them on Amazon, but my sister freaked me out and told me a story of a guy dying using metal straws. It was on the news in Georgia. And then I Googled it and I found out there was another lady that died due to using metal straws. So that freaked me out. So I was like, bye bye metal straws. Hello silicone. So my sister like surprised me with these, which she's so sweet. I love you, sis. But yeah, she sent in the mail and guys, ever since I've been loving these straws so much. Now these are the boba straws. They do have regular straws, but these are the boba straws. So it is fairly like more wider and I absolutely a little, I can't talk. I absolutely love them. It does come in a set of six. It does also have two cleansing uh, brushes and a little pouch, which is pretty awesome. So guys, I'm obsessed with these freaking silicone straws. I will link them down below. Guys, you have to try them out. They're amazing. I like the fact that they're angled so, you know, easy to sip on. But, um, yeah, if you're looking for some really awesome, affordable silicone straws, I highly advise that you pick these one up. Moving on to a beauty item. Now, this one is from my sister and I love this, but I hate the smell. What am I talking about, right? It is this one right here. So this is not your mother's clean freak tapioca dry shampoo. Now this works amazing guys. But the reason why I hate it 
is because it is in the warm sugar fragrance. Now, hearing warm sugar sounds so amazing because I do like a lot of lotion that says warm vanilla sugar. It, it's, mm, it smells good. This smells like burnt hair. And the first time I smelled it, I was like, ugh, it was repulsing. But I tried to give it a second shot and I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna judge it. Let's give it another shot again. So every time I use it, I get that nasty stench. Now it doesn't linger. It does go away, but when you first spray it, it is rather strong. So what I recommend is getting a different scent. But yes, I do love this, like a love-hate relationship with it because I love it. It works amazing. It doesn't leave any white uh, marks. Now, when you spray it, it does leave a little bit of white cast. But then after about 10 minutes, it totally goes away. But I do love it, guys. It does work amazing. But I would recommend to get it in a different scent because the warm sugar is a no-no. Sorry. Now, another product that I've been loving. Now, this has been my all-time favorite for such a long time. I went back to it and I just remember how much I love this stuff. This is the Dove Dry Spray Invisible Antiperspirant. So, I love this stuff, guys, because it works. And my armpits are, like, so stubborn and annoying. It's I'm very picky with, like, deodorants because a lot of them do not work for me. So this one works amazing, guys. This one claims to last 48 hours. Now, I do use it every day, so I cannot tell you, but it is amazing. And it also claims that you're not going to have any white marks on 100 different types of colors that you wear. It. So I love this. It really does work, guys. You will not have any white marks on your clothes. That is my freaking pet peeve when I see a white mark on my clothes. Like, you know how you uh, you put some deodorant on, you put your clothes on, and then you have these white streaks going down? Oh, like that gets on my, under my skin. It gets me so annoyed. I feel like ripping the shirt off. Like, why? And you know how you try so hard? Like, I do. Sometimes I try so hard. Okay, I'm going to do it. And it still somehow has a white streak. This does not do that, guys. This is amazing. So, Try it out and let me know what you think. Now, moving on, I also have this. Now, this is a baby product, but I love this one. This is already empty. Like, I have nothing in here. If you guys are moms to babies, I recommend this one because it is amazing. So, this is the Baby Dove Tip to Toe Wash Rich Moisture. And I love the fact that it has no dyes, parabens, uh, phthalates. I don't know and no, no sulfates and this is really good because you know it's more for like sensitive skin which I love guys and it smells really good I don't really like to get like body wash from my baby girl that is highly fragranced because I feel like it might irritate her and I noticed when I used another one before this one it did kind of give her like little red bumps so I'm very cautious what I buy but I feel like this one by Dove is amazing. Now they do have different kinds, but this is the one I tried and I love it. So just wanted to mention this quickly for all you moms out there. I wanted to talk to you guys about this uh, blanket that I found at the 99 cents only store. So this one is called Hotel Signature Collection and it is a shiny velvet throw. It's a uh, oversized size and it was $6.99. It came with this thing right here. And this is the one I'm talking about. So it's a beautiful pink, guys. I absolutely love it. But I use this for my baby girl. It is a perfect size. This is so freaking soft. It is amazing. It's like a butter. Like, oh, I love it. It's so beautiful. And I love pink, guys. So why not? Like, yes, yes, and yes. So yeah, I love this one. I like to use this whenever my baby girl sleeps. I kind of put it... Um, on like the lower part of her body just to make sure she doesn't get cold even though right now it's still hot but at night I do leave the fan on um, just because if I don't it gets hot but then I worry about having the fan on and not having like at least a little thin blanket on her oh my gosh I like worry too much guys so I, I love this one and I love also to have it in my car whenever she sleeps the only thing I have to say that it's a little rant guys it's a little rant the thing I have to say about 99 cents only store is that the last year they have up their prices like double. And that's the only thing that kind of annoys me 
I used to love going to the 99 cents only store. That was like my thing. Dollar Tree 99 cents. It was like, let's go every week. I had to check it out. But lately I haven't been going there much because, well, they pretty much doubled and this is $6.99. Like they used to have these and they were like $3.99, the most $4.99. But now it's $6.99. Like what? I can find something like this at TJ Maxx or Marshalls, Ross, and it would be the same price. So I don't know how that's a great deal for 99 cents. I'll give them this much. They still do have a lot of awesome things, but that one was something that I kind of was like, mm -hmm. but I love this so much. I wanted to get it, so I did. Now I'm gonna go back to Dollar Tree. I have two more makeup favorites. I almost forgot about mentioning them. And then I was like, oh my gosh, I did not mention them. I have to, I have to tell you guys how I feel about these. So Dollar Tree has been bringing out a bunch of hard candy makeup lately and they kind of bring you two or three this week, another two or three the next week. So I found these ones right here. So this is a bronzer, this is a blush slash highlight. Guys, I love this and I'm so picky about blushes. You have no idea. I don't have that many blushes just because I don't usually wear a lot of blushes. There's like one in particular that's it i usually use one drugstore uh blush and i i do have high-end blushes but i tend to only use that one for some reason but this one guys i feel like is my new favorite i love it so this one is the hard candy it is called glow all the way ombre baked blush in the color sunburst so it looks like this now i use this side for the blush and you can use this in the middle so you can have a more lighter color blush and then if you just use this one on the left side you would just have a highlight and now this one is a bronzer this is a baked bronzer in hula hula and i freaking love it so it looks like this guys if you see it at the dollar tree pick it up because it is amazing it does give you like a nice bronze look i don't usually contour guys i'm not into contouring my face i like the way my face structure looks but i do like to bronze i do feel like it does make a difference especially when i apply concealer i feel like a ghost so i do apply um a little bit of bronzer and i love that one so much and now last but not least i wanted to show you guys this one right here so this one is from walmart and if you guys been watching my videos you know i've been talking about it i've been wanting to pick it up but then i finally decided to pick it up and i love it this is a kimono cardigan and i got in a size small this is by the name brand scoop so scoop is more expensive compared to the other walmart stuff that they have but i had to get it this was 36 dollars. i love the little tassels here uh this one is perfect for going to the beach and wearing it with your bathing suit it is long it goes all the way down and i absolutely love it now i'm not going to be wearing it with my bathing suit i haven't been going to the beach especially with this covid but i have been loving it to just wear like with a white t-shirt and some shorts um i mean you can wear it with so much but if you guys don't know like i love kimono cardigans they're probably like one of my favorite piece to throw on in the summertime because they're so flowy but they make your outfit look so put together so yeah i love this one highly recommend so that is it guys i really hope that you guys enjoyed my july favorites if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up if you guys are still watching and have not subscribed to my channel make sure you click that subscribe button and until next time remember stay blessed bye